Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to make a really quick video uh, with these two Easter journals. They are already sold, but I still wanted to make a video. So I made two of these. That's the one with a bunny. And that's a family of chicks. <laughs> They're so cute. Um, the journals have fabric spine and as you can see it's Reader's Digest cover. A few things on the front. Um, they also have attachment for uh, this um, seam binding tie closure that you can remove and they also have tassel attachment, both of them. So one has pink eyelet, the other one has blue eyelet. Other than that, it's basically the same fabric, except that this one has more yellow here. So this one has more uh, pink on the front, so the seam binding is blue and yellow, and this one has um, more blue, so the seam binding is pink and yellow. And tassels are almost the same. The only difference is this one has different shape, ah, different shade of blue. This one is more teal aqua. This one is um, darker blue, um, kind of like this blue over here. So the tassels have crinkled seam binding, this beautiful white lace, really pretty, and a string of beads. The eyelash trim. Now you can also untie this and use those trims and um, ribbon and stuff for other projects if, if you don't want the tassel. Um, the tassels also have this charm which is a crochet bunny. Really cute. And um, so that's the lobster clasp I used. And I decided to add some charms. They both have the same charm, so this one says grow and it has this flower and there's tiny flower and a small butterfly. I just recently got um, lots and lots of um, charms, so I need to start using them. And so this is cute and they both have them. So you can, you can attach it somewhere else if you don't want it on the journal. There are also some gemstones here blue and here pink um, so these are four signature journals and I'll just link my shop because these are already sold and I also want to show this one this one is also sold I had two of those one I already shipped but I also wanted to show this one so uh, bear with me this video might be a little longer I'll really try to go as fast as I can I put my phone on do not disturb so nobody will call me or I won't get anything else on the screen. So four signatures. And these two are made pretty much the same. If, uh, yeah, pretty much the same. So they have this book belongs to tag with this fabric applique flower and um, enamel dot center. And it says Happy Easter. I'll just show you the front uh, of this one too. So it's the same paper I used, as you can see. I used the same trim on the side. And that's the only difference, is the tag is different color, flower is different color, and this paper is basically the same, but different uh, different part of the, pa of the page. So um, fabrics, bunny stamps, pink, uh, not pink, uh, brown ink and then pretty much the same ephemera uh, a lot of a lot of journaling pieces and I'll I'll try to make journals that would be less expensive with um, just less stuff because to, to include all the stuff in the journals it takes time by the time you go through the coffee dye paper by the time you go through the um, whole journal and include all the ephemera it's it's few hours so punched paper so they will all have the smaller pieces will be all the same it's 
more trim. They all have the vintage um, the Peter Rabbit playing cards made into tax pads. I mean, not all, just two of them, so just both of them. It's really pretty. And then here, it's a girl. So it just says pretty. <laughs> and then it's just a tag. This paper, I just got this paper, um, double-sided flowers. I made a lot of tags for these journals with, it says April. Um, really, really pretty paper. So as you can see, a lot of stuff to journal on. A lot of ephemera. And all of these, um, I keep saying all of these, both of them have uh, pom pom paper clip. This is cute tuck spot behi behind this glittered bunny. And on this side, you are my sunshine on a rainy day. And it's a duck, so I thought it goes with Easter. Now that's trim, and this is Easter uh, washi, so I thought they really look. They have the same colors, so look pretty together. This is some bunny book pages. Her more eggs. Those vintage stamps I got on Etsy some time ago. Extra paper. It's a flip. You can glue these sides and um, make a tack spot or you can trim it off. I'm getting the sun here right now. Let me see if I can fix that. Yeah, that should be maybe better. So this is this textured glitter paper. Love this paper. It's double-sided paper. It's guest check birds it's also trim extra piece of paper there's some bunnies here love this book so yellow um, fabric to match the other side here's basket this is also coffee dyed paper. Each signature has one coffee dyed paper. So, tag. Actually, let's see. So they both have this um, belly band made of this wired ribbon. Super cute. <laughs> Look at this bunny. Um, so both of them <clears throat> have stamped postcard behind it. And also, I made this, I just cut this uh, piece of paper to look like an envelope. You can glue it on the sides if you wanted to and make it into um, an envelope. I just thought you could journal inside of it. So I left it like that. So I stamped the bunny on it. And that's the tag here. Maybe the other way around will be better. Okay. Really pretty paper, very delicate flowers. Some more stamping, washi on this side. Really beautiful paper. I have so much of this um, Easter paper. That's the other side of the book page, doily. Here is an envelope with some washi. That's 
this isn't glued and that's just extra paper and of course you can glue it somewhere and so you can journal here or you can just journal on this these journals are pretty loaded um, so if you wanted to add pictures to them you just need to remove some of the ephemera that's that's in them to make some room look at this paper how cute family of owls is so so adorable and then here um, this the birds here have some purple in in it so this this is also purple so it looks pretty here I just added some sticker on a die cut that's a trim middle of the journal I made um, I made tags using uh, bunny die cut negatives and then I made an eye with the uh, animal dot and I added this cute bow and then this is squishy applique heart really cute and then fabric behind it and it says happy Easter on it so I really like these tags This video will last forever. I'll try go faster with the other one. <clears throat> okay. This is some polka dot, very delicate lavender color. And polka dot here just reminds me of Easter somehow. More washy here. Here's how the paper ends. So I added uh, some paper on the side. Here is another of these cute vintage playing cards and it's really pretty how it looks with these flowers like I made the flowers to be on top like they're hanging above and this will be a great place for a picture if you added a picture kind of behind it like this this would look really pretty and then you can have description here Few things here flowers butterflies dragonflies and then bird here Oops, extra paper fabric here Oh, this paper has some gold. Those flowers are actually gold, really pretty shiny. This is very pretty. I like how this looks because that you have this purple here and purple flowers here. It's a really pretty page. You could go behind this and glue this down and make a pocket here too. So this will be a pocket. And that's the page that has this gold on the edge. I don't know if you can see it. I'll, I'll do it a couple times. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Middle of the third signature. This is coffee dye paper. Here's again the gold on the edge. And stamped index card. That's a flip. And you have... Um, sticky notes behind it here's the bunny book page forever and ever these are very Easter colors so you can even glue it somewhere in a journal and uh, have description for a picture or something uh, a couple things here here so it's a bingo card journaling card with a butterfly and this cute stamp again and my favorite XO
and here are flowers. The other journal has three flowers and they have um, enamel dot centers. Here's the other side. I also glued extra piece of paper to it. It's actually book page, piece of book page. And that is washi. Isn't this cool? That this just reminded me of Easter somehow. And last signature here's trim. Dragonfly. Froggy. And this is, um, so as I mentioned, each signature has a coffee dyed paper, but uh, every page is different color. So it's pink, yellow, green, and blue, I think. And this is really cute, folk, folk Easter with those um, tulips and stuff. Beautiful. That's the Easter I'm used to. And Flip made yeah, even those pillows and cushions and stuff. Um, this is CD uh, envelope. And so what it has is, I don't really want to take it out. It has this swap card, or I don't remember how you call these. And also um, removable vintage book page, so you can use it somewhere in a journal. But these looks these look like hens, but maybe they're parrots now that I'm looking at them. <laughs> so whatever you put in there, it will be showing. So you can add a picture, and it will be showing. And bunnies stamped at the bottom. So that's a uh, tax spot and a journaling card. It's a flip. That's a cute bunny and some trim on the side. And it's all removable. So you see you get all sorts of things and you can play around with them and use them however you want to. Here's the butterfly, it's the same butterfly as here. Yeah, I should really uh, have each journal for a separate video, but I just don't really have time for that. This is um, trim, this is very nice. Uh, journal card with this <clears throat> some gold gold pattern on it and here is one of these um, pages the floral pages I was talking about that I got recently and here's a vintage playing card you can use somewhere in a journal cute ducks and that is a tuck spot So you see, it's a lot of stuff, so it takes time to go through it. This is vintage wallpaper, and that's fabric on top of that. Here again, it looks like, it really looks like um, Easter to me, or something. People, anyways, very, um, I don't know the word I'm looking for. And here's a tuck spot, and again, it's the paper, pretty cool. So you can use it as background for pictures or, you know, anything you can come up with. So that's trim. And then you have this tuck spot here. And the last one is also a pocket, Easter blessings and a tag. So this one's more purple than you actually could see on the picture. So that was this one. Trees were probably into 20 minutes anyways, or close to that. So I really need to speed up a little bit. <laughs> 
So this one, pretty much, I, I pretty much already said what's in the tassel and I showed the um, charm. So they're all the same charms on it. So here's this tag with the enamel dot. Very similar paper, guess check. That's the coffee dyed paper, washi, stamps, April calendar pages. Here's the paper again. Really pretty. I got it at Tuesday morning actually. This tiny little thing here. This um, glittered bunny. Here are eggs and bunnies. Washi. That's sticky notes and journaling card. And that's this paper again. It's beautiful, double-sided, and a butterfly on top. It's a really pretty page. Some cool ephemera. Sorry, silk and butterfly can journal underneath. Here's extra piece of paper, flip, bunny, there's another bunny, here is the envelope and the stamped postcard, so it's the same envelope, this one is uh, slightly larger because the piece of paper I had was a little larger. It's the same thing. So let me put it back. And on this side, the only difference is that this is a tuck spot behind it. So the other one didn't have a tuck spot, this one has this tuck spot. Okay, it's fabric. Here's the cute owl. Birds. So that's extra piece of paper and journaling card and butterfly. Swashy. Here's the cute book page. Here's another uh, coffee dyed paper. Here's a sticker. Let's trim. Life is sweet. I really like this side of it, and as you can see, it looks like it's painted around it. Of course, you can stamp them too. Middle of the journal. Here's the page where I added some trim to it. Bunnies, another coffee dyed paper. This also kind of looked like Easter ta uh, table with those light colors and here is this double sided paper 
playing card. That's Ephemera from the Heart. It's really pretty paper too, if you see it. Really pretty paper. And on this side, Hello Beautiful, and it has the uh, gold. Um, oh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Here's the double-sided paper again, and a cute playing card, the gold print, a stamp trim, really pretty paper, washi and trim here. I like this side too, this uh, red and white color. And here are those flowers. There are three flowers here. And stuff in this pocket. So it says, despite the forecast, live like it's spring. <laughs> and so I have the April showers here. And a tag. And cute ephemera on this side. I mean on the front. Extra paper. Here are those dots again. That's sari silk. Then extra trim on the side. And last signature bunnies trim frogs and here is the um, vintage wallpaper with fabric journaling card and here is an extra piece of paper and a butterfly and on this side is this paper uh, page really pretty journaling card I mean and a uh, library card and this cute girl with an egg so i thought that's cool for easter journal with some trim on top and sell price tag and here's the handmade tag it says happy easter and everything else is the same the eye the bow and the heart so you can you can journal on the other side you can gift it to somebody in a journaling card trim Here's some writing, somebody wrote that, and coffee dyed paper, and here, here's bunny. So it's a few things here, vintage ephemera, Tim Holtz ephemera, butterfly. And behind the bunny were those two things. So that's the page. Some uh, hands on the other side. And same thing here. These were ladybugs, so I figured they work for the Easter journal and a couple bunnies stamped. So 
second journal underneath it. That's journaling card here and here. All really pretty. And here is a tuck spot with the trim and couple journaling cards. And at the end, it's the same uh, butterfly as here. Easter blessings. And then this is washi and a stand, of course, eggs here. So these journals are already sold and I will not be making these. I will be hopefully making some mm, little golden books because I have so many. And this one really quick I wanted to show because I sold two of these. I just, um, I'm going to ship this one tomorrow. Before I ship it, I really wanted to make a quick video. It's a book cover with um, three signatures and fabric on a spine. It ties with the jute twine, as you can see. And I, get, I just dec decorated the front cover with a few things. I stamped it, I inked the edges, added two butterflies here. And the um, charm is removable and it's the att attachment is here so you can add whatever you want to it. But I just wanted to show you, this is actually glass so you need to be careful not to break it. But I have uh, pearls in here and stars. So when I was thinking about it, I was thinking about the universe and kind of, um, the stars are your dreams and wishes, so I thought this is pretty cool, and it kind of looks like planets and stars, so it's like a, it's a constellation, and a charm here, double-sided, uh, this is, um, I made this with the bottle cap uh, and epoxy, and then it has a key. And it has another charm that says, today would be a lovely day to be a butterfly. This is a wooden bead. And um, one of the charms I got recently, this pretty large dragonfly. And a resin um, mushroom. See, and as I said, be careful with the glass. <laughs> It could break. It definitely can break. I sealed it. You cannot open it because it was kind of... Um, I didn't know if it was going to stay in it and then everything else would just... Uh, would not stay in. So I, I decided to seal it. So that's the charm. And the other one had very similar, similar charm to it. Really, I really like this. So anyways, I'm showing it because I will be making more of these. So they, they are three signature. Uh, this book belongs to, they do have trims. And these these were just mix of things. I wasn't thinking about, so you have random colors. I wasn't thinking of any particular um, theme. I was just kind of choosing what I had in front of me coffee dyed paper and I was just going with the flow Let's trim they both had this so you can journal underneath it stamp A really pretty fabric and it's the wrapping paper and they both had this it says who what where when why same here and they had the uh, vintage playing card. Let's trim. <laughs> Dr. Seuss to uh, remind ourselves that um, we do have common sense. <laughs> I mean, it is ridiculous. I love Dr. Seuss, so. Create beautiful memories. 
clip, you can trim it off, you can uh, you can glue it on both sides. So all sorts of ephemera and as I mentioned I will be making more of these because they were just so fun to make. And these are slight, slightly larger than these. Yeah, a little wider by probably quarter of an inch and probably three quarters of an inch taller. Here's more trim envelope stamped. As you can see, random stamps, random stickers, it's a sticker. Very, very random. I was not trying to match and this is sorry, so I was not trying to match anything or it was just entirely stamps. Just not thinking what I was doing really. Copy that paper. This is greeting card. That is another flip. Here's also this paper. It's pretty paper. So still a lot of ephemera in these. And that's middle of the journal. Stamp. I just covered here what was on there. That's the greeting card. Really pretty paper. Let's trim again. I forgot to add something in here. Let's see. This will not fit. This will not fit. Oh, there it is. This is sorry silk. Let's trim on here. As I see a little ink. This is our Myrtle Beach real estate. A butterfly here, cute. And that is, that's trim. That's a pocket. Cherish this moment. Oops. Guess check. Paper. So I see that um, every um, signature has one um, coffee dye paper page. And here are also some flowers, trim. All sorts of things. Really whatever I could find, not really find whatever was close to my reach so all sorts of fun things Extra paper. 
butterfly you can of course glue it somewhere you can make a packet out of it so here's the house it's a big it's a big one trim and end of the journal so I I had two of those they sold but I will be making more of these definitely I really enjoyed them so all of these journals are already sold I just really wanted to make a video and um, I see it's it's a long one but at least I could uh, I could show all, all of these journals so <laughs> thank you so much for uh, spending time with me I know it was a long one and probably a boring one but I'm happy I'm done with this video um, thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon bye bye